the narcissist ends up watching you. Once you've become aware of what the narcissist was trying to do to you, you begin to put the focus back on your own life. You start to get back to yourself. You might engage in activities and interests that you were involved in before you met the narcissist. You might start taking better care of yourself. Going to the gym. Going for a massage. Eating healthier. You might spend more time focusing on yourself more. Now that the narcissist isn't your prime concern. Now that the narcissist isn't your most important consideration. But it isn't so easy for the narcissist to move on with their lives. It isn't so easy for them to forget about you. The narcissist was dependent on you. Your attention, validation and resources. And in their minds, you belong to them. You are their property. Their investment. Even though they may not have invested anything into you but they see it as though they have given a lot to you. Narcissists are arrogant and entitled. They think that you should see it as a privilege to be around them and they expect a return on their investment. They want to continue to get something back. After everything that they believe they have invested. They don't see it as though you have left after everything they have done to you. They see it as though someone or something is taking you away from them. In their minds, it's like someone broke into their home and stole their favourite watch. Something that was very valuable to them. And now they will do whatever it takes to track it down. This is where the narcissist ends up watching you. They keep you under careful, protective, and secret observation. They keep an eye on you. They follow closely and maintain an interest in you. Because in their minds, you are their investment. In their minds, they devoted time, effort and energy into dealing with you with the expectation of a worthwhile result. They expected to get something in return. Even though they may not have done anything to deserve anything in return from you. Narcissists are arrogant and entitled. They believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. They believe that you owe them something. And that is why it's so difficult for them to let you go. That is why they have to keep an eye on you. 
because they recognize your value. They recognize your importance, worth and usefulness. They just don't want you to keep it to yourself because in their minds that makes you selfish. That means you are lacking consideration for them. Which then gives them even more reasons to stalk and harass you. It makes them feel justified in their behaviour. The narcissist ends up watching you. They end up observing everything you do. They become more focused on you than they are on their own lives. Because they recognize your value. They see your life as being more valuable than theirs. Which is why they're so focused on your life. If you bought a cheap watch and then one day you couldn't find it, you probably wouldn't make that much effort in trying to look for it. But if it was a Rolex and it went missing, you might spend days or weeks trying to hunt that thing down. Because you recognize its value. And if you found that someone else had taken it from you, you might be very angry. You might do whatever it takes to get it back. And although we are only talking about objects here, that is how narcissists view people. They see you as an object. They see you as their possession. Once they've met you, that's it for life. There is no future after them. That's how they see it. So in their minds, you can't just move on and live a life without them. You can't just focus on yourself. Because in their minds, you're an object that exists to serve them. It's like they're a baby and you're their parent. They see it as though they're your inherent responsibility. So when you've decided that you've had enough, they're still attached to you. They're still trying to keep tabs on what you're doing and where you're going who you're talking to because in their minds you belong to them you are their investment and they don't want to see that investment being shared with anyone else narcissists are jealous and insecure and they will be offended by any person or activity that takes your interest after you leave them. They will be closely observing everything you're doing. Everywhere you're going.
everyone you're talking to. Because in their minds, you are their property. They own you. And they also see you as an extension of them. They expect you to think, feel and behave in the way that they would like. They expect you to want the same things as they do. And any time that you do something that conflicts with their narrative, it will trigger a narcissistic injury. It's like this unspoken agreement. You have to stay within the lines that they have created for you. They end up watching you because they fear that they're losing control. They fear that they're losing the ability to influence and direct your behavior and the course of events. And in a, a desperate attempt to control you, they will often enforce flying monkeys and start a smear campaign against you. They will try to ruin your reputation. They will tell people you're bad or crazy. Whatever it takes to make people look at you differently so that you can't just move on with your life. Because the way the narcissist sees it is that if you're not going to have a life with them, you shouldn't have a life at all. If you're not going to be with them, you shouldn't be with anyone. The thought of you living your life without them is just too painful for them to deal with. Because they recognize your value. They recognize your importance, worth and usefulness. They understand just how beneficial you are to them. So for them to lose you would be a major loss. They engage in unwanted and repeated surveillance because they see you as their possession. They see you as something that belongs to them. They see it as though they're just protecting their investment. Even though they may not have invested anything into you. It's almost like they just seized your assets. But in their minds, they invested their time and energy. Even if all they did was hold you back or make your life difficult. They have to go along with the narrative that they were trying to help you. That's their excuse or justification for watching you. It's either they were trying to protect you or they were trying to protect other people from you because you're dangerous or crazy. When in reality, there is no justification for what they do. And if anyone's crazy, it's them. But they're so deeply invested into this, they can't even see it. They can't even see what they've become. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you.
please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.